We're learning more about the 21 victims who were killed at Robb Elementary School. Two teachers lost their lives in the attack, trying to save their students, Ava Morales and Irma Garcia. One of Garcia's former co-workers spoke about her love for her students. I don't doubt one bit that she stood right there in front of the gunman and said, you know, you're not taking my kids. You're not going to hurt my kids because that's the type of person that she was. She was just amazing. And I just can't believe this. Tuesday's shooting is the second deadliest at a K-12 school on record in the United States. The attack at Sandy Hook Elementary in 2012 was the deadliest. And the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, was the third deadliest. Sarah Lerner teaches at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. She is a survivor of that tragedy. She joins us this morning. Sarah, thank you so much. I know you shared your traumatic experience in the book Parkland Speaks. I have to imagine you relived some of that trauma this week. What did go through your mind when you when you learned about Rob Elementary? Well, I want to thank you for having me on and allowing me to be a part of this conversation. Um, when you hear about a school shooting, or really any shooting, it immediately brings you back to those moments of your own experience and your own trauma. And, you know, my heart went out to the, the students and the faculty who made it out and survived, and certainly to the families of those who lost loved ones. I mean, they were just babies, and it's just so, so terrible that things like this continue to happen. You wrote an op-ed last year in the New York Times and talked about how so much more is being asked of teachers, more than just educating our kids. You wrote, we're expected to be mental health counselors, social workers, psychologists, security guards, and so much more for our students. Help us understand what kind of strain does that put on our teachers and, quite frankly, on our students, too? Um, it's... It's an irresponsible ask of the nation to put all of this on teachers. You know, we have to be mental health counselors and parents and all of these things for our students, which we do willingly because we care about our jobs and we take them seriously and we care about our kids. But at the same time, you know, we didn't go to school to be bodyguards and bouncers and law enforcement. We went to school to be educators. And, you know, as much as we care about our students, we have, we want to make it home safely, just like we want them to make it home safe. And as teachers, we also deal with the baggage that comes in from the outside because gun violence isn't just school shootings. It's what happens in communities of color. It's domestic violence. It's suicide by gun violence. So all of that external stuff comes into the classroom and we have to help our students navigate that as well. We're a little tight on time here, but in your mind, if there's just one thing right now, and I know there are many things we need to prioritize, but what's the number one thing as a country you think we need to focus on? We need tighter gun laws. We need background checks. We need to stop the production of ghost guns. We need safe storage laws. We need this to stop. And the 50 senators who are holding this up need to stop being so beholden to the NRA. And they need to do right by the people of this country. Sarah, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really do appreciate it. Take care. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.